Leo, you are getting a good look at what is going on beneath the surface in your life in the month of March. I really see that many of you may be exploring the occult or really reevaluating your investments, whether that's energetic or monetary, particularly with Mercury and the Sun moving over Neptune in your Pisces 8th house. I do feel like this is a very spiritual time for a lot of you, particularly with Neptune being very activated. And we do also end off this month with a very important lunar eclipse in your Libra 12th house of your subconscious mind and spirituality. There could be some sort of revelation, epiphany, or even releasing of a bad habit or some sort of dysfunctional behavior. If you're looking forward to this month's reading, then definitely be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification if you haven't done that already. That way you can always stay up to date with what's in the cards for you. For those of you who are brand new to this channel, hello and welcome. My name is Michael and I utilize a tried and true method of combining tarot and western or tropical astrology to intuit accurate monthly forecasts for your zodiac signs. For those of you who are ready for a deep dive and would like to book a personal reading or distance Reiki session with me, you can find a link for my website as well as all of my other social media accounts in the description of this video. All right, Leo, you already have me hooked. The first card that we have coming out for you is the sun in reverse, and this is actually showing up as a past influence for you. Now, what's so interesting about this for me is that the sun actually represents your sign, and normally this is about a lack of clarity or a lack of energy, but this feels very personal for you. And it's almost like you felt out of touch with yourself. And again, this is past energy. So if this isn't resonating, then maybe this isn't the reading for you. I, I do also get the sense that some of you are in certain sort of burnout, especially like creative burnout. Some of you even have imposter syndrome. Like, am I actually as good as, I, as other people say I am or think I am at whatever? Um, it, it, there's kind of this second guessing here. Um, and, and it feels like things have just kind of been foggy and maybe not spoken about openly. So really interesting starting point here. I do want to shuffle some more cards for you and see what else we have. As I do that, I'm just going to give my quick reminder that these are general readings, meaning not all the messages are going to be meant for you specifically. It's up to your own intuition and discernment to figure out what applies to your own life and what should be left behind for somebody else. Um, and if this doesn't resonate at all, again, nothing went wrong. It just means that this video isn't meant for you at this time. Um, but you're more than welcome to check out the videos, maybe for your moon or rising sign, which you can find on the playlist in, on my channel. Uh, so what do we have for you, Leo? We do have the Queen of Cups in reverse, as well as the Four of Wands in reverse. It really does feel like there's kind of this out of touch energy and I, I do get something that feels disappointing um, or not even disappointing. It's like maybe you've already achieved things with the four of wands here, but it wasn't what your heart was in. It didn't give you that satisfaction or fulfillment that you were hoping. And maybe that's just kind of been life in general. I, I, I sort of feel like that's just kind of an overall energy for this group. We do have the Five of Wands coming in pretty centrally here as well. And this does feel like some of you are getting out of maybe a period of scarcity or insecurity. Um, your financial situations could be improving or you're just kind of coming up with some plans and, and getting help or assistance in some way. And this is actually pretty central to this reading for you this month. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, it feels like you're kind of at this point where things are shifting, but you might need to have some other people assist you or help you in this process because it really feels like I'm just looking at this energy and I'm just like feeling and even hearing like there's got to be more to life than this. Like th there's almost this um, like ennui is a good word for it. 
Um, and I think some of you are really investing in like a spiritual or occult practice. Again, that's kind of an important thing for many of you with this uh, Pisces season, particularly with Mercury and the Sun coming together with Neptune and Pisces at the beginning of this month or middle of this month. We do also have um, Venus and Mars in Aquarius squaring off with Uranus in Taurus. And for some of you, there may be some sort of conflict between like work and a relationship. Uh, maybe you are kind of struggling to prioritize a relationship or prioritize work. It could kind of go either way. And it feels like there's just some sort of conflict there um, and, and maybe some sort of disconnection. I do actually have the lovers here though, however. So it feels like whatever sort of struggle is going on, it actually can bring you closer together with somebody, um, particularly if you are in a romantic relationship or even just collaborating with someone or in another kind of partnership with somebody. Um, and maybe this is a person who can actually help you. And it's kind of funny because it almost feels like maybe there's a conflict at first. Um, but then it ends up bringing you closer together. Or it kind of highlights a deeper problem. And there's sort of a, a cohesion that I'm sensing here. Um, and maybe that's why this Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands in reverse are coming out together. It's like you're almost so burnt out or so depleted or just so apathetic like it doesn't even matter like certain things don't even feel like they matter anymore i do feel like there is something that you have to walk away from with the five of swords maybe some of you have like an unhealthy coping mechanism as well i could potentially see that um especially for people who may um you know kind of distract yourselves or, or kind of go out or seek certain experiences to an excess um, not that there's anything wrong with these things, but it, I mean, anything can be used as a distraction. Um, and and I, I just kind of get that sense for some of you. There's just been a lot of noise around you. And I really feel like I need to ask you, how long has it been since you've just let yourself sit in quiet? without any music, without any sound, without any conversations going on around you. Like, how often can you even seek those things out? But have you sought these things out? Interesting. Five of Swords with the Knight of Swords in reverse. The energy feels a little scattered here, Leo. I, I gotta be honest. It feels like you want to move away from something, but then it's like, well, maybe I just need to try harder, or maybe I just need to push myself, or maybe there's some way to work things out. There's kind of this wishy-washy energy. And I think you need to, on some level, commit to yourself with the lovers, because sometimes that does signify making a choice. Interesting. So we do have the devil in reverse with the Hierophant upright. If I can be honest, this is giving like religious trauma, religious shame, um, or, or just like expectations that were placed on you feeding into some sort of self-negation or denial of what it is that you really want um, or making what you want wrong. And it feels very tied to tradition. It could be about religion. It could just be about um, expectations or values, maybe in your family or society. And, or, or even like, um, kind of like a field. Like maybe you work in like a, a very scientific field, for example, and it's not encouraged to explore spirituality. It's kind of seen as frivolous. Like it, it feels like there's some sort of incompatibility between two different perspectives or belief systems. Um, 
And that actually makes a lot of sense to me because a lot of this sort of exploration that you're going through right now, it does kind of feel like you are combing through your belief system and really figuring out like what actually resonates with me? What do I actually believe versus what was I just taught to believe or think? And as we get into airy season at the end of April, we, or I'm sorry, at the end of March, um, we really do have a lot of focus on your worldview, maybe even traveling or connecting to different parts of the world or just seeing things from a higher perspective. Um, so I do feel like there is maybe a shift in your worldview that's going on or you're kind of reevaluating things, you're reevaluating your beliefs um, and also like what it is that you choose to invest your energy into. I feel like some of you have given your power away to other people and maybe even the way that you relate to spirituality is by putting all your faith into maybe readers or practitioners or speakers or, or teachers. And there needs to be the shift of like finding this light within yourself. Um, the Hierophant is also very interesting because this is Taurus energy and again Uranus is very active in Taurus this month, more so at the beginning of this month, um, but it's kind of being loud throughout and it's actually going to have a, a very big moment on April 20th when it comes together with Jupiter and this could really be signifying um, some major change in, in kind of the role you fill in the world at large, whether that's with your career or long-term goals. Um, it, it feels like this is all connected somehow, and you're going to have to let me know in the comments down below how it is, because I, I feel like the person that you want to be or want to become was somehow made wrong to you at some point in your life, and maybe still is right now. Maybe there are people who would shun you, and you are really, I kind of feel like you're putting your energy and, and attention in the wrong things, if I can be so honest. Um, what is it that Leo should focus on? Interesting, the hanged man came right out here and often this is about meditation. It is about seeing things from different perspectives. There's not really a rushing through this detangling process. Um, there is also like a, a very intuitive energy with the hanged man. Sometimes this does indicate working through divinatory means or methods. Um, the hanged man traditionally is actually depicted as Odin hanging himself upside down. That's how he learned to interpret the runes. And so you could be learning some form of divination, but I think more generally you are just pausing and really just seeing things clearly and it doesn't feel like it's a reactive energy and we do kind of get that with the son of swords as well some of you have just kind of been like out of control your mind has been out of control you you've been just sort of going through the motions and like it hasn't even been productive it's just been busy feeling if that makes any sense So yeah, really focus on, on meditation, on shifting your worldview, just kind of pausing, contemplating things. What else do we have for Leo? Any other messages for Leo this month? Um, do we have anything? A lot of communication with the Page of Swords. Um, I was actually asking, do we have anything going on in relationships for you? Uh, we do have the Nine of Wands, so some of you may have gone through a challenging period with relationships, but again, it feels like you are towards the end of something here, and it actually does feel like um, you're about to see something through to the end. But I do also get this need to talk as well. Maybe some of you have been putting off conversations because there just hasn't been a convenient time for things, um, and it, it kind of feels like you... You may just need to have those conversations in order to really move forward, or maybe you're just waiting for the right moment, but I really more am getting the sense like 
it, you could be creating a, a bigger situation by not having a conversation now. And obviously use your discernment and intuition there. Um, yeah, I do feel like ultimately there is some sort of healing with the star and kind of finding your direction, finding kind of the essence of a relationship again. And maybe even just calling in that relationship too, because sometimes the star represents wishes and wish fulfillment. It feels like there is some sort of talking that needs to happen, whether that's between you and this other person, or even with you and like a therapist or some sort of mentor or coach. Um, especially if you are connecting with an Aquarius energy, which some of you may be. That was too many. Let's try one more time. Any other messages for Leo for the month of March? We do have the Five of Wands. This is actually showing up in reverse. And again, it's kind of like picking and choosing your battles here, but... I am sort of getting this interesting message of like, don't always run from conflict or from disagreement either. What are the relationships that are worth having conflict or uh, challenge for? I think is a really important question. And there really is a lot of focus on intimacy and the way that you share yourself. The, the deeper parts of yourself, particularly as we are going through this Pisces season. Um, I felt like there was also something going on financially for you. Is there anything about finances? Yeah, there are things that are shifting with the two of uh, pentacles here. Um, it feels like maybe there is a move that is taking place or, or some sort of change at work. There's kind of just some moving parts right now. Tell us more about finances. Show us clearly, please. Interesting. We do have the Ten of Cups. Um, some of you are really trying to make changes to make your life feel more like the life that you want to live. Um, maybe there is something about family or domestic relationships here that could include things like marriage or just like a partner that you live with. Um, tell me more about finances. Is there anything else with money or finances for Leo? We do have the King of Wands. So here is your energy. Um, it, it feels like there's some sort of change that you want to make about uh, sort of the sources of your income and, and really aligning those with things that you are more passionate about. Um, maybe for some of you, this is a change in career or a change in focus. It feels kind of like um, something is moving around here. This may not be a full-blown career change or field change, but maybe there's something about you changing roles or changing the work that you're doing on kind of a day-to-day -day basis. And that feels like a way to get more fulfillment and more happiness for you. Um, and, and maybe that's why, maybe mixing things up, honestly, kind of gets you out of this sort of drudgery that you've been in. Okay, so I do wanna pull, I'm gonna pull an animal card for you as well, Leo kind of just figuring out what energies that you should be embodying in the month of March. We do have the swan. So yeah, this is a very reflective energy. Um, and I feel like a lot of you are just sort of taking time for yourself. Swans actually can be quite territorial. They can be quite fussy with who they spend around them. And I did feel like there was this need to cultivate calm, quiet, uh, and I even get the word like serenity as well. That feels very important. Maybe some of you need to spend time in nature or just in quiet spaces and really have that as something that you can go back to and keep going to. 
Uh, the swamp does also indicate introspection, as you can kind of see with this reflection here. Maybe something about journaling or even talking to a therapist or talking to someone who, again, is kind of like a guide to you in some way. And I do feel like you are becoming more in touch with parts of yourself that have been lost to you for some time, particularly with the Libra full moon at the end of this month, this eclipse at the end of this month. There's a lot of stuff with mental health that's coming to the surface, and it may feel disruptive at first, but I actually do get the sense that there's something about healing and really figuring out what feels aligned to you versus like, oh, I've been dancing around this the whole time and I'm, I'm just understanding. For some of you, like, I, I mean, I actually did say it. It's like the thing that you want scares you. And, and because of that, um, you don't have the energy or motivation. There's kind of this sabotage or like you want to do something, but then you can't find yourself, uh, you, you can't find the motivation to do it or to act on things. And I feel like that's really something that's just going to kind of be a detangling process. It's not as simple as just go do the thing that you love, Leo. Like, there's some sort of, of process that needs to happen. It could actually be tied to writing of some kind as well, because Saraswati is often depicted as a swan. She's the goddess of poetry and language. Um, I almost get the sense of like needing to go on a retreat and maybe that is actually a creative retreat for some of you or just a meditation retreat, something that has a lot of quiet or just going on a trip that that's more like a getaway than a, a really active vacation or journey. There's this need to kind of unplug, is what I'm really getting. And I just, I'm, I'm hearing like unplugging from the chaos and plugging back into your soul. And we do have the horse here as well. This is about reconnecting with your endurance, with your stamina. You will find the you will find a way forward. The universe is supporting you in that, especially if there has been some sort of struggle here. And even if it doesn't feel feasible to totally change your job or shift things on a really big scale, you are figuring out ways to at least make the process more enjoyable. Um, and also ways that, in ways that are conducive to your mental health. And I do think that's everything. I, I hope that this was helpful, Leo. I apologize. I feel like this was a little bit wordy and, and kind of felt like I was dancing around a bit. But that's that makes sense with this Libra energy that we have very prominently for you in this month's reading. Um, Definitely be sure to hit like and subscribe if this resonated, especially if you've made it this far into the video. You are more than welcome to check out the other videos, maybe for your moon or rising sign on my channel. It also does help that algorithm. And uh, yeah, you can find links for personal readings and distance Reiki sessions in the description of this video. You can book all of those on my website. And I will see you next time, Leo. I'm wishing you a very happy and blessed March.